Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing some more ranking videos um, So last video was the um, MCU TV shows This one is going to be an animated franchise that I'm sure you've probably heard of uh, Which is the Hotel Transylvania franchise Now uh, the fourth and final one released um, about three weeks ago um, I have watched it and um, this list um, is like really accurate like this I don't disagree like this is very easy to rank for me uh, um, and yeah uh, there may be a few spoilers along the way um, but yeah with all that said let's get started roll that intro So in last place at number three, we have Hotel Transylvania 3, a monster vacation. This is easily the weakest in the franchise because this one just goes so, so weird. Like it just so, it's so, so strange because I don't understand why you, like in the first film, you're trying to make this sort of spooky type film and then you're making them go on like holiday on a cruise ship. And it just had such a weak villain. It just had the worst writing for a villain. They don't even like spend any time trying to tell you who this villain is or anything. They just go straight into it. They don't tell you, you know, you know, they don't try to do some character building. They just go straight and say it's the bad guy. And then that just doesn't work because you don't really have any feelings for the character. And it all just doesn't, it, it, it feels a lot more silly and cringy and this film could have been so much better with having like Van Helsing in it and I think that would have worked a lot better if he was put as the main villain because obviously that is a classic thing in the Dracula um sort of thing it just didn't work for me and I am not the biggest fan with this film it is entertaining enough but it just didn't sit right with like the plot and I just don't think we needed this and the characters just like the only characters that stood out for me that stood out to me was Frankenstein and Murray and they were it like they were the only ones who I actually cared about and wanted to see more of and I just it's just the film just took a different route and it didn't work and this film really was not my cup of tea at number three we have Hotel Transylvania Transformania and we have a little friend with us for this one so um, maybe he might want to share his opinions so um, this film returns to what was good about the first two which I'm happy to say it's not as bad as the last one some people are putting this um, a last place on their list I've mm. actually seen um, but it just I don't really think it deserves that it just this film returns to it and it just creates a nice little conclusion this feels like the end and the fourth film you know it's been going for a long time and it's time for them to end this it's a good conclusion the last five minutes just does a really good job without like making a story that's going to break your heart and that's what worked for me and I really enjoyed that and I just, I really enjoyed this because it has them silly jokes and it just create. it's a story that I've wanted to see in these films and we finally got it. And um, it's good that this is the last one because it was just, I, I kind of thought that this was going to end up like the third one, but I'm happy it didn't. And it just, it return, obviously it returns to the normal thing and... The characters are, you know, much more likeable in this one. It's not as silly as the first one. It's got a good story and it's got, um, you know, it's quite funny. And it's just like a short hour and a half long vent adventure that pays off at the end. And it literally, like, the adventure only goes on for like 25 minutes. Because they're, you know, a lot of it's based in the hotel, then it's based, like, at the end. And it all just works, and it all comes together and creates a really good film. And that's why this one is really, really good. I just wish to change a few things, then maybe it'd be higher on my list. 
Our runner-up at number two is Hotel Transylvania 2. Now, this one is probably very close to the next one on this list. I know I said this was easy to rank, but it, it, it still is very easy. This film creates a different story and feels very different to the first one, but it's not, it's still the same. It still feels the same. It didn't have such a big dramatic change like Hotel Transylvania 3 did. This film, um, like, it almost creates a bit of a coming of age story. And it just, it it does the best plot line to pick up after the first one. And the first one, obviously, it was about, um, obviously, a human coming into the hotel. And now there is, obviously, Dracula has a grandson. And that works. That is a good story. And I think that works really well. And this is, like, probably the most, like, calm one out of them all. Because this is, like... You're probably only watching this for like an hour and 15 minutes. It's very, very short because it's just got a sweet little adventure. And it's very modern. This one is very modern, for example, with like the phones and everything they have. It is very, very modern and it feels very, very new. And that works for me. And I really enjoyed that. Um, just how they put the modern world into it and how, you know, like Dracula's in the modern world and everything. That just, that was a good little touch. Um, and it has those silly jokes that works. It's, you know, the characters are as likeable as ever. And it all just comes together so, so well. The villain I wasn't too keen on because well, there wasn't really a villain, but they just sort of rushed to get something at the end. And I feel like once, like, the adventure's over for, like, the last 20 minutes, they make Dracula's father come into the mix didn't think that needed to be done it was okay where it was going it's fine it's not necessarily a problem it still works but it you know they could have focused a little bit more on trying to do something else but easily coming in first place is Hotel Transylvania the original film now I started watching these films uh, back in lockdown back in 2020 when Covid was very bad and I watched um, the first three and I, well, except for the third one, I fell in love with these. I was just, I really enjoyed them because they were just little silly adventures, a um, bit of humour, quite lighthearted. And I enjoyed that because that is the sort of like, it's good to watch something like that every now and then. And this film has the, you know, an original story. It puts all these spooky stories into one. It works well. And I think, like, it doesn't feel too much like they're just trying to be, like, silly and having silly humour. This one definitely has the most entertaining and the most funny humour. Um, and, yeah, I really liked them, you know, bringing what if a human, like, encountered these monsters. And that is where the whole film goes. And this film has, you know, it's like, these films are like a romance story. And that works with this like uh, or as they called it a zing it works really well this film and the love relationship with this it works so so well and it's just it's just a good film it's you know it's a bit silly at times hey eh? and it's just fun it is really really fun to watch and yeah it's just it just feels like without having the weight of these sequels on its shoulders this one could be free and do whatever it wanted to start off the franchise whereas with the third one it was trying to just balance and try and um like create new plot lines without like making it silly but it just didn't work but this one works the best and i think this one is just the best in the franchise so yeah guys that's gonna wrap up my hotel transylvania movie ranking whoa 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 where are you going um and yeah let me know your list down below in the comment section um and feel free to spoil away no spoiler warning needed and let me know uh, what more uh, movie reviews and uh, rankings you want me to do the uncharted movie review will hopefully be out this week i don't know i'm trying to do more rankings so yeah and uh yeah uh, there are some more videos here, like, uh, I think there's most, mo you know, there's most anticipated movies 2022, top 10 movies of 2021, and some movie reviews everywhere as well. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.